What up guys, it's Vlad from Paper24, and in this video we're going to be answering a very interesting question. How do college professors actually check students' papers for plagiarism? Now, we understand that college students are pretty lazy and want to do the least amount of work possible and get the highest grade possible. We also understand that college professors want students to put in the actual work and get the grade that they deserve. So we are going to be putting ourselves in the shoes of a college student that will use multiple tools such as ChatGPT and Quillbot to write an essay quickly and beat the system. Conversely, we are going to be putting ourselves in the shoes of a college professor who understands how a student thinks and will be checking the work of a college student through multiple plagiarism detection tools. We hope that you guys find this video insightful and resourceful. So sit back, grab a notebook, and let's get right into it. So let's pretend that I'm a college student and my professor has assigned a paper for me to write on the following topic. Should a college education be free for students in the United States? As a clever college student, the first thing that I might do is go on ChatGPT and ask it to write me an essay on this very topic. Let's go ahead and do that. So we have received an analytical essay where the AI talked about the pros and the cons of making college education free in the United States. After reading the text, it is pretty hard to tell whether or not this was written by a human or whether it was written by an AI. Now we need to put it through multiple detection tools to actually see what they have to say. The first tool that we're going to put it through is Turnitin, which is a plagiarism detection tool that is used by all college universities. So we have received our originality report from Turnitin, and after scrolling down, we have found that there is a 13% similarity index. Now, anything under 15% is considered acceptable for a student submitted paper. And in this case, you would pass the originality test. But ask yourself the following question. Don't you think college professors have alternative tools besides plagiarism detectors to see whether or not a student has cheated? Well, in this case, we will be using GPT-0, which is the tool developed by the same founders as ChatGPT, but with the contrasting purpose of detecting AI writing. Let's see what it has to say. So after inputting our essay in GPT-0, we have received the following outputs. We have a text perplexity of five and a burstiness of 17, and conclusively, it is telling us that our text is most likely to be AI generated. So we have passed the originality test, but when it comes to the AI writing test, we failed. So as a college student, I know that this practice won't work. However, I am very clever and I have a second idea. What I'm gonna do is take the content written by ChatGPT. I'm gonna copy and paste it into Quillbot, which is an AI rephrasing tool. And I'm going to rephrase the entire essay. And after giving it a quick read, we can tell that by putting it through a paraphraser, the quality has dropped a little bit because it hasn't maintained that same idea that the initial essay had. Nevertheless, we have a new essay, so we should run it through the same test. First, we're going to put it in through Turnitin and see what originality it receives. So we have received our originality report for the paraphrased essay. And after scrolling down, we have found a 4% similarity index, which is better than our original similarity index of 30%, meaning that the paraphrased essay also passes the originality test. After inputting the text through GPT-0, we have received the following outputs, a text perplexity of 11 and a burstiness of 32, with an overall conclusion telling us that our text is most likely to be generated by AI. So consider this. You wrote an AI-generated paper, you cited, you referenced, but you know that you still need to edit it. How much time do you think it will take you to edit the entire paper so that it passes AI detection? Maybe it would just be easier to write the paper by yourself. We aren't telling you guys not to use ChatGPT. It is a great resource that will help you in your school or work processes. But if you blatantly attempt to copy and paste text written by ChatGPT or other AI writing tools and pass it off as your own work, just know that you will most likely get caught with plagiarism. If you are struggling with an essay or a research paper, then consider using Paper 24, where you will receive an original and human written paper that passes all plagiarism detection tools. We hope that you guys found this video insightful and resourceful. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.